Hi, I'm Mark from the Electrical Safety Office. When it comes to construction sites, setting out electrical supply in a safe way will save a lot of heartache and potential injury to your workers. I came across this construction site near Karoi. These sparkies were a great example of how to do construction wiring on a complex site. The site required installation of construction wiring over 12 hectares. Regular electrical supply was more than 500 metres away from the construction zone, making the supply point impractical. Other difficulties included working around previously built homes and within them, working in a variety of outside seasonal conditions and linking electrical supply across large distances. To overcome this problem, the housing construction zone was divided into three sectors and a portable generator installed in each zone to supply power. Only one zone where the clubhouse was located had supply from Energex via a series of property poles. A construction switchboard was set up to accommodate three construction boards. Key practices identified of the supply included making sure construction wiring was run via a catenary system along the footpaths outside of the regular trafficable areas, using insulated hooks ensuring wiring was kept away from ground level to minimise the risk of damage, and keeping wiring at the required heights where it did need to cross a road or trafficable area to avoid accidental contact. The benefits for the workers, the worksite and the contractors were numerous points on site where workers could plug in leads and power tools, preventing the need to run leads all over the site. Easy electrical isolation points around the site, reduced potential for damage to leads and reduced the need to have multiple leads joined together. Best practice when connecting construction wiring means businesses can operate efficiently and safely which will also mean there is less room for electric shocks and other injuries. If you would like more information about electrical safety on construction sites, visit electricalsafety.qld.gov.au.